Welcome to Card Knock Life Plays. We've got a fun one for you today. This is Ozzy Kelly's SCG Classic Winning Scred Dragons, or Sarkon Scred, or Dragon Scred, as I like to call it. Um, this is verbatim his 75. There are a few changes that I'd like to make to it um, going forward. However, I wanted to stick as true to form as I could so I can kind of show off what this deck can do, especially since it worked so well for him. I mean, he won the Classic with it. Um, granted, this is a deck that sort of relies on the matchups kind of going your way, and that's always really true with, with mono red decks because there are certain things that red just can't do, like deal with enchantments, for example. So to mitigate those things, you have things like Ratchet Bomb floating around, but they're just very, very slow answers to those problems. This deck is very good against like an army of creature decks. If the format is just loaded with little creature decks, we've got Bolts, we've got Scrads, we've got Draconic Roars, four of each, and we've also got two Anger of the Gods on top of all of that to take care of the creatures. So the, the idea is to play early interaction, like all of the burn spells that I, that I mentioned, and then also Blood Moon as an early uh, kind of trump against the decks that the burn spells aren't good against. Um, and then that sets up for a late game where you're just dropping a Sarkon for some card advantage and some extra mana. Same with Chandra. And then that leads to dragons. And mostly haste dragons. So when you're top decking a Stormbath Dragon, you're also attacking with a Stormbath Dragon. Um, Thunderbreak Region is kind of a fancy little piece of this deck. This is one that I've been interested in trying in Modern for some time. Um, whenever a dragon becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, uh, Stormbath deals, or excuse me, Thunderbreak deals 3 damage to that player. Um, so there are very little things that, that an opponent can do to this that just get around that entirely. One of them is Wrath of God, and Wrath-type spells are, are generally pretty good against this deck because they can deal with the, the dragons, even the ones that have protection from white. Um, but Wrath doesn't deal with Planeswalkers, and so we also have those Planeswalkers to stick around and, and you know cause those headaches for our opponents. Um, let's go look at the sideboard real quick. There's not too much to explain about the deck. Scrying Sheets is kind of an interesting piece. I should mention that while we're playing uh, Snow Lands, because we've got all the Snow Mountains for Scred, um, Scrying Sheets allows you to get some extra card advantage and kind of filter through your draws a little bit so that you're not drawing mountains in the late game. Um, that's kind of the thing that this deck does. It goes into top deck mode pretty quickly, so having Scrying Sheets and then also Sarkon to loot through your land draws um, helps quite a bit. All right, let's see if we can change this display. Let's do card view. Alpine Moon, I think it's kind of a concession to Tron. Sometimes you just need it faster, but also deals with, you'll see me use it against the Celestial Colonnade in a game. It can be good against um, like infect creatures and things like that. It's just a faster way to get to Blood Moon type scenarios. So where that's good and you wanna board out those burn spells, usually Alpine Moon is also really good. Um, We've also got a couple extra of Anger of the Gods. You know, sometimes you need just that much more firepower against the creature decks. Shattering Spree is a fantastic card for um, like affinity matchups and things like that. Also, if your opponent has Chalice of the Void on one, that's usually pretty good against us. That will counter the first instance of Shattering Spree, but not the replicated uh, copies. So you can get through a Chalice of the Void on one with that. Because it's a one mana spell, I almost want to play like a little bit of a diversity in this sideboard. So I might put in like a, a by force or a shatter or something, um, or shatter storm, I should say. Um, so just my two cents. Um, also, with the anger of the gods, we're pretty all into that. We've got four copies in the 75. I might want to sweltering suns in the main so that you can cycle through where it's bad. Um, also, Kozlek's Return is another option because it's got instant speed. It doesn't ever have an effect where it's going to come back in this deck because you don't have any creatures that are big enough to trigger it. But Kozlek's Return can deal with um, creatures at end of turn or in combat, which is very nice. Um, we got four Dragon's Claws in the side, thematically appropriate. However, they're here mostly because they're necessary for us to survive the burn matchup. We don't have much that we can do to gain life in Mono Red, and we don't have much that we can do to basically like survive past turn five against that deck so we really got to draw this and hope that we can deal with my our opponent's creatures with our burn spells and then just not take too much damage to the face blood moon is pretty good in that matchup because our opponent relies quite a bit on white mana sources for a lot of their spells so that can slow them down but then you're going to need something like dragon's claw to stabilize once you get two of these online you're in pretty good shape against burn that means that all their spells deal like on average one damage or zero so that's very cool. Um, another Ratchet Bomb, obviously very good. And then Batter Skull, Batter Skull, also another source of life gain, which is very useful. But once again, against like the control decks where burn spells aren't great, um, Batter Skull is a, is a good way to just put a fatty into play that's very hard to interact with. 
So there you have it. We're going to play some games with this. If you'd like to try the deck out, check out Manatraders.com. I rented it from Manatraders.com. I'll be returning it after my videos. No hair off my back if I don't like the deck. Um, and then I'm going to go and rent some other modern deck. I like to play as many modern decks as possible on this series. And um, all of the new and interesting versions that come out um, are certainly on my radar. In fact, I'm looking at the blue-red Wizards deck for our next video. So Hoogland got sixth place in the in the last event with blue-red Wizards, which plays like Delver of Secrets, and it plays the Wizards Lightning and things like that um, to take advantage of the Wizard Tribe. Really, that's the only thing that does. Um, seems interesting. I'm definitely interested in Delver decks, so I'll use my Mana Traders account to rent that and try it for the next Card Not Life Plays series. But if you would like to try as well, you can use our promo code at the bottom of the screen, Card Knock Life, all one word, for 14% off your order. Um, thanks for watching, and enjoy.